Before we leave our discussions on Neptune, I want to say just a couple more things here. Remember that we'd already indicated that we think that when Jupiter and Saturn migrated out, that caused Uranus and Neptune to migrate out and essentially to change orbits. So as they changed orbits when they migrated out, it kicked all these icy things out that became the Kuiper Belt out here. And that possibly is where when Pluto got kicked out, that is possibly when uh, Triton got captured. It's possible that Triton was another one of these Kuiper Belt objects that orbited for a very long time before it eventually ended up being captured. So there's a variety of different options here. We don't really know. Uh, we're still studying all this and to really answer some of these questions, then we need to actually have more spacecraft go to Uranus and Neptune. Uh, only the Voyager 2 spacecraft has ever been to Uranus and Neptune, and we really have not learned just a whole lot about these worlds uh, um, that we would like to know. We, we learned way more than we would have otherwise, uh, but it would have been nice if we had, had a chance to learn even more. Remember that Uranus and Neptune, Uranus was discovered pretty much by accident. And uh, William Herschel was studying the sky and he saw uh, what looked like a little fuzzy star and it moved. And so he referred it to it as a comet star, later realized it was a planet and named it George. Uh, then Adams and then later Leverrier were studying the orbit of Uranus, realizing it's speeding up and slowing down, suggesting there's another planet out here. So when they looked eventually at, at the right spot, they found Neptune. Now, is there another planet beyond Neptune? Well, that idea has been going around for some time because after all, we found Uranus and then uh, uh, like 100 or so years later, the next century, we found uh, Neptune. And so they got to thinking, well, maybe next century, that's going to be 20th century, they'll find another planet out there. And so uh, Henry Norris Russell, famous American astronomer, was trying to look at the orbit of Neptune, and he thought he saw a wiggle in the orbit of Neptune and uh, thought that maybe there's another planet out there. And so uh, they started looking, and uh, what they did was uh, they happened to be looking in a region of the sky right where Pluto was crossing the ecliptic. And so at that point, they were then able to figure out that uh, there was another thing out there. So they discovered Pluto. Now, Pluto was not anything big enough to disrupt the orbit of Neptune. And so therefore, uh, that wasn't it. Uh, uh, they later figured out that Henry Norris Russell's actual uh, observations were in error, that there was not a big disturbance in the orbit of, of Neptune after all, that instead uh, uh, what happened was that it was a, a discrepancy because uh, European astronomers measured distances from the sun, or rather from Earth, and American astronomers measured distances from the sun. So, so by looking at European measurements of the orbit and then looking at American measurements of the orbit, it looked like there was a little wiggle out here, and that led them to do the search that accidentally found Pluto. Had they not been looking when they were looking, Pluto is normally in an orbit nowhere nearby and would not have been found. And so uh, that was uh, uh, sort of a, a fortuitous uh, discovery there. But Neptune's orbit was definitely not influenced in any way by Pluto. Pluto was way too small. And so uh, that was the uh, 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 end of that, they thought. Well, still, a lot of people 
look at Henry Norris Russell's work and they did not understand, you know, the d discrepancies that he was seeing. And so they continued to wonder if maybe there really is another planet out there. Uh, the idea that there's there's something else you've discovered has been going around for a long time, the so-called Planet X. And so, uh, you know, careful, careful analysis of the orbit of Pluto does, or rather of, of, of Neptune does not show another object out there tugging on it, though every now and then that idea still pops up. Maybe there's something out there. Uh, the other thing is the Voyager spacecraft leaving the solar system, they noticed seemed to have slight irregularities in their orbit that it was proposed that maybe that was due to uh, another planet pulling on them. There are other possibilities for that that might have to do with interstellar wind or solar wind or something of that sort. Uh, that may also uh, be why there's that Voyager anomaly there, not another planet. Still, the idea there's another planet out there is uh, uh, you know, it's pervasive, and then everybody wants to find a planet. Obviously, I mean, you want to be famous to find a planet, so every now and then people are searching. Uh, there was a graduate student a number of years ago that um, was analyzing the Kuiper Belt orbits that are out there and found that there's uh, too many that have too similar of orbits. And so uh, this graduate student suggested that possibly that means there's another planet out there that's helping shepherd them all into similar orbits. Now that's one possibility. Another possibility is that they actually pull themselves together under their own gravity into similar orbits. Another possibility is that maybe they broke apart from something bigger into a, a, cleft, a handful of families of things uh, that are following similar orbits. And yet another possibility is, wait, we haven't found them all. So the ones we found just happen to be all in similar orbits because they are all moving in the same part of the sky where we're looking. And so that would also explain this sort of thing. Uh, so um, that's, you know, it's, it's like what they're looking at. One possible solution was that there might be a large planet out there, you know, between 300 and 400 AU, but we probably would have found something that size if it were out there. And so we're now starting to think that maybe it's not there, at least not this kind of object. If there is something out there, it's going to be much smaller than that. And probably uh, we're not, it's, it's not really going to be this, this large thing that we're searching for. Uh, there may have been other planets kicked out of the solar system by gravitational interactions. Uh, there may be a variety of other sort of things that are out there, but probably not this, this planet X type thing that they're looking for. At least that's kind of my opinion here. And so um, for my analysis of the data myself, I, I tend to be a little bit skeptical of the idea that, that this would be out here. Now, I could be wrong. I mean, I admit that I could be wrong here, but I think that uh, it's more wishful thinking than um, mathematical certainty that there is another planet beyond Neptune. Uh, again, this is excluding the idea of large uh, Kuiper Belt objects, which I'm pretty certain there probably are large Kuiper Belt objects out there, and things bigger than Pluto and Eris are entirely feasible. Uh, out there, uh, but not really anything of the size and scope of what we think of as one of the major planets.